Hey, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson, and this week I'm doing what pro saxophonists do, which is surprise, surprise, gigs. <laughs> I'm out on tour in Denmark with Wet 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 this week, so apologies for this scrappier production values, as you can see. But whatever, let's get right down to it here and talk about sound for a minute. <laughs> gotta believe if you're watching this content you love playing sax and you probably want to get better at it too i also bet just like me that you're inspired by a few top players that you love listening to and the thing that gets you right in here is their sound <laughs> It's like there's some kind of magic power in a great sax sound that really touches people's heart and soul. I always think it's probably because it mimics the human voice so closely, but who knows. But here's the thing, and it's a very big but. I don't know any other instrument in the world that's universally played with such a bad sound by almost everyone, except pros or pretty advanced players. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen. People get a weedy thin tone on the palm keys. They can't get the low notes out. There's inconsistency across the range of the instrument. People can't get their horn in tune. It's often vibrato, like a bleating goat. And although it's not tone related per se, it actually is really. Altissimo seems impossible for many people. Loads of you guys have told me that your partner has to go out and walk the dog or something when you practice because it's so bad. And as a sidebar here, if you've tried to buy your way out of trouble with, say, a new mouthpiece, reed, ligature, saxophone, high mass neck screw, or metal thumb rest, I'm sure you've already discovered that the problem is way deeper than that. In fact, I'd say that 90% of your sound comes from what you do inside your body, not what gear you've got. I'm not saying this to give it large here, but I'll happily play your exact setup and sound awesome off and sound awesome on it if you want proof of how important the player is compared to the gear now it's easy to get a noise out of the saxophone and even you know the fingering ain't too bad either but it seems like it's a really hard task to get a good sax sound and here's why i end up scratching my head because the way i see it it's not that hard for anyone to get a half decent sound and most of the time i can transform people's tone in about five minutes flat which begs the big question What's going on here? <laughs> well, I might get banned on YouTube for using the C word, but in my opinion, it's because saxophone is often taught by a bunch of clarinetists. <laughs> I know, I said it, sorry, but seriously, when you play saxophone with a tight lip in clarinet on which bad things happen to your tone. So what can we do about it? Well. The quick fix is to watch some of my previous videos on embouchure and tone, which you'll find in my technique playlist. But although I've already said it's easy to move the needle with your tone, it's actually quite complex to really go deep enough to get the most out of your sax tone. And unfortunately, it's impossible to do that in a few short YouTube videos. So that is exactly why I created my Total Tone Mastery course. And full disclosure, yes, this is a shameless plug. Virtually everything you get on this channel is free, so I'm sure you'll allow me one brief plug for once. But seriously, I say it's a shameless plug because I have zero problem telling you about this course because I wanna help you. I'm genuinely passionate about getting you the information you need to feel what I feel when I play sax. And the only way to do that properly is with a systematic, detailed step-by-step -step course where each lesson builds on the last. <laughs> Honestly, 
TTM is like the culmination of my life's work and I'm super proud of it. But the important thing is that it works. It really, really works. Now, I'm not going to dredge up any testimonials here, but if you use the link in the description, you'll find more information on TTM and a bunch of keen sax fans, just like you, raving about the transformation in their sound and expression. In fact, if you've already got Total Tone Mastery, why not just chuck me a quick comment down below saying what it's done for you? Obviously, don't comment if it hasn't done anything for you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Obviously, just say what you want. Let's be nice and transparent. Anyway, surprise, surprise, there's a really good deal on with Total Tone Mastery right now, although it's only open until this Thursday. Now, I know times are hard, the cost of living is insane, so I'm chucking it out at the lowest price I've ever sold it to try and help as many people as possible. Anyway, that said, what I thought I'd do today is quickly jump behind the screen and give you a whistle-stop tour of what you can expect in the program. And even if you don't buy it, at least you'll get a really good idea. A good idea of the tone alchemy needed to transform your dull lead sound into pure gold. Okay, welcome behind the screen. We're gonna jump right inside Total Tone Mastery and see how the things that I teach in this program are gonna help you develop your dream sound. How to make the alchemy happen that's gonna change your dodgy sound into an incredible sound. So first of all, we've got an introductory module. As you can see, it's all laid out super clearly. There's videos for every module and there's also downloads. Now the download for this one is the course map. The course map is really gonna help you stay on track with your progress through the course. This is what it looks like. You've got all the prep and study on the left. You've got exactly what to practice on the right. All the modules are laid out and there's tick boxes so you can tick it off as you go along. Super easy, you'll never get lost in there. Look at the first module, the success mindset. This is about a long-term game. This is a really important point to remember with your town. You have to be very disciplined. You have to be focused. You have to set aside the time that you need to make these things happen. You need to be able to hear in your head what you want to achieve with your sound before you even start. Otherwise, any old thing will come out. Super important, so we talk about that. The second module is about breathing. This is the powerhouse of your sound. Go through all the things that you need to know about breathing. This is a really, really thorough module on breathing. For example, one of the myths about breathing is that you drive the air from your diaphragm. Well, that is just not true. I've even got a little diagram of this happening in the course. Check this out actively moving downwards for an inhale and passively back up during the exhale. After the air pressure difference is equalized and air has stopped flowing in, the diaphragm completely relaxes. So there you can see everything is really, really well explained in the course about breathing and we take it in very easy steps. Next, we move into module three, which I call the science lab. Now this explains all about how a sound is made on saxophone because it's really important to the rest of the course. Now, this is quite a geeky module, so if you're really not into all that, you can actually skip module three, but it is actually quite important for understanding what we're gonna be doing to create that dream sound later down the line. Then, of course, we move on to the really important stuff, which is embouchure. So I talk you through exactly how to form your embouchure and we go through lots of embouchure exercises and that is gonna be the first stage in creating your sound. Module five is called your vocal tract, where the magic happens. Now this is why I explain all about the anatomy of your throat and mouth and what all the various parts do and how they affect your sac sound. And we go into the tongue, the larynx, the glottis. We talk about mouthpiece pitches. We look at how you bend notes and this is setting the stage for how to create your sax sound. This is getting inside the DNA of the saxophone. I, I like to say, this is how you learn how to blow your saxophone from the inside outwards, instead of just blowing it, fingering the notes and hoping something good will happen, which often it doesn't. This is getting inside the instrument and learning exactly how to master it to get the sound that you want. Next, we move on to module six, which is my spread the love with long notes module. Here you can see me demonstrating the exercise. Which at this point is going down in leaps. This is a more advanced version of the exercise. And of course, all along, there are PDFs that you can download. You just click download and there is your pdf it's as simple as that after spread the love we move on to one of the most important modules in the whole course which is overtones which i call the mothership exercise 
This is where I introduce you to overtones, explain what they are, explain about the harmonics of the instrument, and I explain the best exercises and why they're really important for your sound development. This is the beating heart of the course. This is a super, a super important module. And then later down the line, there are even some really advanced overtone exercises as well. <laughs> So here you can see I'm playing Amazing Grace using all different overtone fingerings. So there's all cool advanced stuff like that. But the really important part of module seven is where I explain the tone matching exercise, which is the number one exercise, which is gonna get you the biggest sound you can possibly get on your instrument. And then the final module eight is really important. This is the practice roadmaps, because I give you, depending on your ability, a completely clear roadmap practice plan, exactly what to do, for uh, wherever you are in your journey. So for example, if you are, uh, let's look at new to the journey. We just download the PDF, open it up, and there we are, there's your roadmap. There's embouchure exercises, there's breathing exercises, you just tick the boxes off, there's vocal tract exercises, and that'll tell you exactly what to do to get the result that you're after with your sound. So this plan, it's really going to take you right from the beginning all the way through the journey of your sound with everything explained really really clearly and it builds each module builds on the previous one till by the end of this course you just cannot fail <laughs> to have an absolutely awesome sound like i say it's about this alchemy it's turning that sound you've got into the beautiful rich full consistent sound across the whole range and once you learn how to use your vocal tract Altissimo will be a breeze. It's not a course about Altissimo, but once you master these techniques with your vocal tract, you will find the Altissimo range just comes much more naturally to you. But it doesn't end there because there are some very, very cool and important bonus modules as well. So these bonus modules address all the most common problems that people always come to me with. Starting off with bonus module one, subtone and the low note problem. Why do you keep fluffing your low notes? I explain all about it and I show you exactly what to do with your embouchure and your mouth to get successful low notes. Then it's the high note problem, those pesky palm keys that people are always saying are really thin and horrible. I show you exactly how to do it. I show you exactly how to shape your throat and how to get a rich, full sound that isn't completely out of tune on those palm keys. No sound will be complete without a rich, beautiful vibrato, so there's a whole module on how to create a really gorgeous, rich, full vibrato to make your tone sound like a singing human voice. And then there's the growling, that really gritty sound, which is just adds that sort of, that extra depth and expression to your tone. That is all covered. Also, there are some bonus MP3s, which are really cool backing tracks with all music that I've made up myself, nothing just taken straight off iReal Pro or anything like that. These are really high quality tracks so that when you're practicing the exercises, it sounds like you're jamming with a band. So that's what you get with your Total Tone package. So I hope that sheds some light on the steps you can take to transform your sax tone. And as I mentioned earlier, although you can get a Total Tone Master anytime, there's a whopper of a launch on this week, as well as a bunch of killer bonuses not least my comprehensive mouthpieces and reads for dummies ebook which explains everything you've ever wanted to know about your setup on sax like i mentioned before the link is in the description so click it now <laughs> to get more information about total term mastery and jump in at this really ridiculous special price look it's literally the equivalent of buying a couple of coffees a week for a year and your life can look so different when you've got confidence to blow your sax with that rich, smooth sound you've always wanted. You can go to jam sessions, play local gigs, join bands, make new friends, upload cool social media posts, or even, you can even just have that satisfaction in yourself that you sound good and your partner doesn't have to leave the house wincing when you practice. I know it's been a slightly different lesson from usual, so thanks for indulging me. And honestly, I really hope you jump into Total Tone Mastery now so you're not here in a year's time pulling your hair out in frustration. As usual, just like last week and next week, I'm pro sex is Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sacks Together. And until next Sunday, practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. See you later, I've got a gig to do. <laughs> Whatever, let's get right down to it here and talk about sound for a minute. I've got to believe, right, that's great because, oh, why it's gone? 
Is it possible to keep the light up a little bit? Just some filming something. Thanks. Thanks.